I understand, you know, when you, when you play in the league, you understand how people can get excited about the number one overall pick and, um, and expect things to happen right away. And I'm sure Bears fans expect everything to go right immediately the first moment he steps on the field. And it very well could. Um, but you got the right guy. That's what I, first thing I want to say is you got the right guy. He, he's, he's got the right temperament. He's got the right attitude. He's going to have the right work ethic. Um, he will bring so much to this team and make everybody better. The more he's there, the more you're going to like him. Um, he's a, he's a special kid. So, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does this year and, and beyond. I want to get to the mental component of playing quarterback and all that he's going to be asked to handle. And it's colossal in a big city with big expectations. But um, first, let's talk a little bit about what he needs to get better at mechanically. The wrap on him, and I'm not smart enough to know this, is he could be better in the pocket. Is Mm -hmm. that an accurate criticism of Williams' early work? And what does he do to get better at that? Yeah, I mean, only thing you can go by is what you see on tape, right? And and so I, I was actually critical of him at USC at some time of trying to do too much, right? Trying to put the team on his back, which he did oftentimes at USC because he had to. USC had struggled on the offensive line. They struggled in some other areas, and they relied on Caleb to do everything for him. And for the most part, he was able to do that. There are going to be times where he doesn't need to run out of the pocket. He needs to be patient, especially in the NFL. Completions matter. And sometimes you got to take that three-yard completion. Sometimes you got to take that four-yard completion and not necessarily go for the big play all the time. And I think there are times where he might have went big play hunting more often than not. Um, and that's something I think he's going to have to work within the system as now he starts his career in the NFL. I would think even more so with a team that, dare I say, is loaded at receiver. You might be yeah. more willing to take those chances. A Dunze is a great go up and get it guy. And you saw him yeah. at Washington. DJ Moore is terrific. And Keenan Allen may end up in the Hall of Fame. So hopefully that's something he can. But, you know, when you hear this stuff about, boy, when everything's falling apart, Williams makes magic hit the arm slot, the different yeah. angles. You, you start thinking about Patrick Mahomes and everybody I've talked to, including Kurt Warner qualifies to say, he reminds me of Patrick Mahomes, but don't think I'm telling you he's going to do what Patrick Mahomes has done. <laughs> Is yeah. that, do you think Rodney, that's a pretty good comparison? I, I think so. I think it's a very good comparison. I think with the arm talent that Caleb has, it's similar. Now like we haven't seen Patrick, you know, really arm talent like Patrick Mahomes since maybe Aaron Rodgers came in the league and, um, but he's different because he does it all over the field and does it in different arm positions, as you mentioned. Um, Caleb is very similar that way. And I think the fact that you just mentioned DJ Moore is already there. He's a veteran guy now. And, and Keenan Allen coming in, a veteran guy, is going to really help Caleb. There's going to be times where Caleb is going to have to make those kind of plays, where he's going to have to move around, scramble, buy some time, let those guys get open down the field and make some big-time plays. But there's also going to be times where, Keenan and DJ Moore are going to be timing routes where he's got to just be on time with it. So his mechanics have to be good. I think they are, but sometimes you get into a trap when you, when things break down, you run around, you got to do different things, but he can make every single throw. And I think that's why people compare him to Patrick Mahomes because he can throw it to his left, to his right sidearm over the top. Anything you ask him to do, he can make the throw, which is uh, which is a talent that we haven't seen a, a lot from QBs. Until the final Friday of the Combine in Indianapolis, there was so much talk. Williams wouldn't come to Chicago. He doesn't want to try and resurrect a franchise that's always gotten it wrong. Um, man, every, everything he has said, in their only words, yeah. but everything he has said has been completely opposite of what we were told we were getting. I love his enthusiasm for life. I love the fact that he's willing to fly his freak flag a little bit and paint his fingernails. Uh, My quarterback better be a guy comfortable in his own skin enough to handle whatever criticism comes from that. I love everything about this kid. And I think the fact that he's banked or at least earned, he hasn't banked that all the government gets a portion of $12 million plus. I think probably lends some more maturity to a guy coming in here. What do you like about him, the person? Well, here's the thing. I think him playing at USC the last couple of years, especially the last year. I mean, he won the Heisman the first year he got to USC. And then 
the amount of attention that you get here in Los Angeles uh, for being at USC, especially if USC is doing well. USC is bigger than the Rams or the Chargers. If USC is winning, USC is next to the Dodgers. You put them up with the Dodgers and the Lakers. And the, he became a megastar in Los Angeles. And I think that that helped him identify and understand and how to deal with media and popularity and all those things and which he's going to bring to Chicago. And you're absolutely right. You know, sometimes we don't control what the what media says or other people say about us. Just take us for our face value. When I come in and I say what I'm going to say, then trust me, that's what I'm talking about. And that's Caleb Williams. And I, I'm glad you said that because there were a lot of things said about him. But when you get to know him, you understand he's the real deal.